The current state of PvP in Marvel Future Revolution is incredibly bad. Hey, there's a, a new video. This is going to be a bit of a dissection kind of, kind of ranty type video. But but hold on, I, here's the thing: Marvel Future Revolution, Net Marvel Monster, they look to be doing some work to improve matchmaking and the PvP experience, but more needs to be done. And I've spent a good time doing a lot of PvP stuff now to kind of figure out that there is a lot lacking when it comes to the work that is being done for that and the imbalances between those that have excessively spent or wailed out on the game versus those that spend a little bit and also those that are free to play. There's a big kind of like difference. So let's sort of like talk about certain things first and foremost. Now I've got a, a very high rated for a free to play Doctor Strange, which has 15,000 uh, attack, 9,000 defense, HP, 78,000. The stats are good, but they're not good in comparison with other people that are level 100. And look, here's the thing. You've got to work hard in order to get there, even from a free-to-play standpoint. But as I've done these improvements and I've gone, in the last couple of weeks, over 200,000 more power rating, or hero rating, whatever you want to call it, and I've increased the stats here and I've improved uh, the squad and also I've done stuff when it comes to specializations and uh, squad power. There's still things that lack in comparison between a fair matchmaking system that the developers put in place. So when you put it into perspective more, dimensional duels and a mega war are some of the worst things in order to matchmake correctly. We're going to go into depth in this section here. When I was down in Gold 3, I would find myself going up against people in Platinum. Whether or not it's Platinum 3 to Platinum 1, it could be a case anybody I'd face off against. And now it's worse because I'm facing off against people in Diamond. And also, I think I went up against someone in Master. That's how bad it is from the point of, like, matchmaking. Mm. And even worse when it comes to stats comparisons. I've got some images I'm going to like showcase in a minute, so let's uh, let's have a look at. Oh yeah, and, and, and like the developers have said, and we will kind of like just kind of bring this up right here. They have said that they're going to look at the Omega War. In Omega War, matchmaking groups will be separate according to hero level for a more even playing field. Okay, <sighs> fair environment. Mm, not necessarily. Okay, because people are higher. High, the hero rating could be like 100, but it could be a case that they are, I don't know, getting 1 million hero rating or power rating, sorry, power rating versus somebody that is like myself, 600K. And here's the thing, 1 million does trump those that are a lot lower, like myself. I mean, you can give a perfect example of this. You know, we'll, we'll, we'll try and find somebody in the loading. Okay, um, this person here from X-Force. We'll just um, just inspect and see where they are. Yeah, imagine imagine having someone level one hundred there with what is six star like very rare stuff. What we're talking here, Rise of the East coat, which I can imagine they're they're not they're not free to play player, uh, not by a long shot. It's nano it's nano fused. <laughs> well, oh god, yes, this is a whale. Uh, again, no disrespect to anybody that is a whale, but like, look, that's. That is a lot more than mine when it comes to attack. You know, that's a lot more than mine when it's, when it's defense. That's a lot more than mine when it comes to HP. Those two stats are kind of the most important ones here. So, <laughs> yeah, I mean, special uh, mega cards. Yeah, the, uh, six star, six star, six star, six star. And then five star, six star. Uh, uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> It's like this is this is what I'm talking about. Like you can have you can have your hero rate hero level being 100, but your power and your stats are gonna make you a stomp force. Squad rank 173 as well. Now look, you know if you're having this into um, to Mega War, is just not it. And this is where PvP sucks. It gets worse when it comes to uh, dimensional duels. Again, we'll go back to like talking about dimensional duels now. But Mega War, Mega War is so imbalanced uh, as it is. You know, you look, you look at some of the people that are in the standing 
here, the whales, and again, there's no disrespect to anybody that is a whale. The problem is with a developer putting in a matchmaking system that is definitely kind of like, you know, fairer. And it's just, it's rubbish. It is really rubbish, it's imbalanced, and it's, and it's not fair, okay? It's not fair to have that kind of like, imagine if you went into a, a PvP situation and all stats were reduced down to even, right? Now, Marvel Realm of Champions had a similar thing with a PvP. They did they did have certain modes where it was kind of like everyone was at a level playing field, so it was just down to the skill of the person as opposed to who has bought and spent the most. Dark Zone's a little bit different, but then at the same time, if you're doing a lot of damage and you've smacked off a good, like, good chunk of the bosses, you're going to get buffs. So those that have the better rating, as we've seen, are going to make those gains. So, look, it is what it is when it comes to this situation, right? I work hard as much as anybody else, more so as a free-to-play player, and I'm sure a lot of people would even spend just a smidge, even like buying the, um, and what is a good deal, is the Omega Pass for £7.99. What you pick up from it has immense value for the price, and that is like total respect that they, um, you know, are, are kind of doing that. And I will be interested down the line, maybe even like being a spender within the game, but I do need to make sure that the PvP situation in this game has been sorted out for me to go, hey, thumbs up, really happy with the game, so I'll spend. Thank God the PvE in this game is more fun. And that's the big kind of like the, the big thing here with it. It's having like fun PvE. Again, let's go back to the situa situation with uh, dimensional duels, because like I've got some 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 things I want to like show because I've been taking a little while, because I wanted, I wanted to like do a bit of research on this video before I kind of like made it. So I've got like a file of, of recorded stuff. Again, it's, it's not showing disrespect to any other, I'm not showing any disrespect to any other player within this game. What I am in, what I'm pointing out is that the developer needs to do more. So some of the people that I've kind of like had uh, interaction with is, it's kind of like, it's like situations like this. Again, look, a, a big change here from, a platinum player and I didn't check I didn't go into detail of like checking out what platinum they were but this was very early on I think I was in uh, gold one or gold two or something no gold three and go or gold two between those two and I was facing off against a player that's quite obviously you know best stats best stuff than me and it's just you can't you can't win how are you meant to get gains you make losses so therefore you can't make that jump up in the very stiff, you don't, you don't, you just don't get fairly matched. Is the point I'm, I'm coming to you with this one? There's also some other footage. You know, sometimes it balances well. Sometimes it kind of like, and this is what I'm talking about. This goes in, goes in the the opposite direction. I faced off against someone who was a level 74, rank 39, silver like three or something, and I'm in. I mean, it just, it's so bad. It is literally so bad with that, that matchmaking. It just, it makes no sense whatsoever. And it's just pretty pathetic, you know? Um, another example, and it's like, you think that I'd be going, oh, I'm so happy about this, I got an easy win. Like, no, this is this is when it's just, it's rubbish, and work needs to be, be done with it. It's just I just do not get how a developer can't make this a more fairer process. And I understand that, you know, they wanna uh, build stuff, but it's like, it's just, it's just not, it's just not there. It is really not, not there. Same thing as I said with a with a mega wall. You know, where's a good example? I was just finding a really good example of kind of like the um, uh, the the balance here with stuff. And is this a good example? No, this is not. But there's a, there's times where it's like it, it this even, and it's not. Like this is this is an example of going like this is when matchmaking is good and it's fair to a degree. Like. You had, I think, had a good good fight here. I think either they they won or I won. I, I don't know. I, maybe maybe it was like an even, uh, very even fight. But uh, yeah, so like very balanced. Like I had the same kind of gear at the time of this player. So yeah, it just kind of like just balanced balanced well. But you know, sometimes it's it's just it's just not there. It's not there with balance, and it just becomes kind of. Kind of upset, not upsetting, because you can't really, you shouldn't really get upset by a game. But it's just like you could just go, this is, this is just bad. Why, why is this in this game? So that does boil down to developer has to do more to improve the way that matchmaking is done. 
you know, and whether or not the developer has to go, right, well, we have to make sure people are... And that's the thing, if, if it requires more people to play. If people have a bad experience with dimensional duels, they won't go back and play. This is why I think that they've been doing these uh, special uh, events, whereas it's SIFS training. Man, doing this is just absolutely terrible. So that's more work the developer needs to do in order to create a more even playing field. If you have to wait longer to match fairly based on better stats of uh, the system, of the algorithm, then hey, that needs to be done. They should do it because, you know, it's um, it just can be very unfair and leave a sour taste in the mouth on content that I used to love doing dimensional duels because they, they had, um, it was good. Then it just got terrible. And I don't know why. I don't know if less people start playing it, got really angry with it and annoyed. And I'll need to do it. There's some good stuff in the Dimensional Duel store. For the token, sorry. You know, in the token section, under Dimensional Duels, we've got... Um, yeah, just like amazing stuff. Once a week I pick up a Furious Classified data. But you just need you just need to get Ws. And getting Ws is kind of, uh, kind of difficult. Especially with the matchmaking being so terrible as it is. But uh, um, this is down from Net Marble Movie, Net Marble Movie, Net Marble Monster to um, to get this sword, get it repaired, look into a better way to grab in data, and grabbing in that data to take into consideration the likes of battle badge potency, whether or not they, or maybe even the attack, defense, and HP stats, and also the way that um, you know you've got the the costumes. I'm not getting regionals anytime soon. I am struggling with trying to pull them. I'm working hard to do that, but there's only so far you can go with um, the workshop and crafting. And as well, the other stuff is buying buying kind of like selectors, which is, again, a very difficult thing to do, unless you've got the crystals for it, unless you've got X, Y, and Z thing. It, it, it's tough to do, even with a high, high pull chance. It's, you know, I've only got one, like, decent piece. The rest have been terrible, so... And I'm working hard on what I can do. So, yeah, it is what it is. It's got to take a, a better consideration to understand stats. And that's really it. But, in any case, that has uh, that's been a video. What are your thoughts on the current PvP situation? Uh, are you happy with Dark Zone changes to add in a PvE zone? Are you um, kind of like not happy with PvP side of things? Are you, are you happy with the PvP side of things? Interesting to find out. Make sure as well to check out some other content that's located on screen right now. There should be some previous Marvel Future Revolution content. And I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one. Bye-bye.